The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Changing the, the method of operations today here at the offices of Duke & Duke, 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We posted a chart of one of the wild and wooliest markets of all time, folks. Natural gas. And I'm showing you what I'm looking at right now. This is my AI prediction for today. You had to be long until about two minutes ago. We're going to see if it's going to be any good or not. But the uh, risk here has got to be around 10 handles because uh, it moves. It moves and it moves. Okay, now for an announcement. Uh, as you know, we have Adrian Togare as our guest usually, but uh, she's not going to be able to be on today. Tim Bost is going to be on. Adrian will be back with us uh, sometime in July. But the reason why she uh, had a chat with me today is she said, Larry, she said, I've known you 30 years. I said, yeah, dear. Why? She said, you need a break. And I said, yeah, I know. <laughs> and anyway, she said, I've never seen the tiredness in your voice because she listens to the TFNN radio show, of course, uh, like everybody else on the planet. Anyway, so I'll be taking a break here uh, next week, uh, probably until July 1st. Uh, I have the, there's two reasons for it, folks. I've had three three really big shocks this past week with one of my good friends dying, another one going into Alzheimer's, and the third having a heart attack. The heart attack guy is doing pretty good, actually doing very well, as a matter of fact. But uh, it was still uh, quite uh, uh, nerving to me because you know I'm you know I'm closer to 90 than I am 70, so I've got to be able to. Uh, plan my years uh, in the coming months and so to make my best uh, use of what I've got and I've had a lucky lucky career there's no question about it but anyway that's uh, that's neither here nor there I will be able to do the videos each day I love doing those uh, I'm only going to be able to work an hour a day so I'll do the videos which takes me just about that long the radio show takes about two and a half hours to get ready, including the time that we're on here. Uh, and then the, the, the newsletter is no problem at all because John Jameson writes that. And on that, Vin, I might tell you that when we were in London, uh, there, there was 122 people there, I believe. And there was someone in that room that was very, very famous that I had no idea he was famous. And uh, he is really attached to the newsletter that John writes each writes for me each week and uh, it's got a chance to be published somewhere uh, very prestigious they haven't decided yet but if it does you know I'll certainly uh, let you know but John does a fabulous job with his writing because he is a professional writer okay now that's what we're going to be looking at now and let's just move on to the next one here what I want to do now is to come up and take a look at uh, the S&P because this is really important what happened yesterday folks I go through this whole sequence ah shut the front door and raise the rent ah give me a second here boys and girls there's what I want to get hold on just a second hold on okay this comes from my good friend Alan Smith over in the UK they trade the S&P of course and you'll be able to, oh, why does my, uh, why? I'm not being able to see the uh, uh, the screen for some reason, Al. I don't know why. It's not popping up. It says this the stream has ended. Okay, you see it. Anyway, you can see that's the pattern. It's a 135 pattern. This is the pattern that we talked about yesterday, folks. And that's why it's important that we go through some of the things that were happening, you know, yesterday. But just take a look at this. We'll start out here with the Dow Jones E-mini. This is really, I mean, this is a mother God and country stuff. If you like uh, pattern recognition, you know, swing trading type stuff. So you'll see here, this is a, th a one three five pattern that's lined up uh, perfectly. But most importantly, and I put this in the video last night, is the pullback today was extremely important because if the S&P could hold 41.30, and that, that was down, remember, that's down 60 handles from the high, 41.30. If it could hold 41.30, that was a 3.82 retracement, and folks, it held there and rallied 30 handles. 
We got all the way up to uh, 4160, uh, I believe. And so that's why that's important. Now, if we start going below there, that's telling us that there's something wrong. And that's the main thing. Now, let's just look at a couple others here. Here's one that happened yesterday. I mean, you know, th this is one of the reasons why that market was so doggone strong. And we'll get this up here so you'll be able to see it. This is the old NASDAQ. And you'll see exactly, folks, within five points on the exact NASDAQ. It went through it by five points and rallied 300 handles. So, I mean, this is what short-term trading is all about. Speaking of short-term trading all about, folks, if you do any stock trading at all or any stock index futures, do this. Tomorrow is the last day that you can register for Tom O'Brien's one day, I mean one day, all day, live trading and believe me he really knows stocks and how to put the volume together with his timing the market thing and uh, with his book it's it's really you get that free so it's certainly worth uh, everything that you can do that'll be on june the 10th uh, here on friday so let's make a let's make a note of that uh, t tomorrow um, i don't have a guest planned as of yet but i'm hoping to have one uh, for us by tomorrow but i wanted to run through a few of these charts here before uh, Tim comes on because it's important that we look at some of these things to, because the importance of what we hit yesterday was uh, was very, very important. It was right on the money as far as all of those numbers that we were hitting. And then today, the pullback, 50% in, in the Dow Jones, uh, 382 in the Russell, and uh, about 382 in the NASDAQ. So none of those really had much of a problem. You'll notice here now, I'm bringing up the Russell here because this is the one that has been turned the market, you know, way back on the 12th of May, not the 20th, but the 12th is when that bottom was made. And then you can see the 382 retracement. And we have a potential for a real breakout here to the upside, folks. And gosh, I'm I'm really hoping that we get it because that's all part of the, the overall theme of what we think is happening from May 20th that we'll have this heck of a rally and then you got to get ready for that, folks. And that's a, that's my third reason for wanting to take a little break because when I come back from a break, folks, I can tell you this with a great deal of certainty. Do not fade me. In other words, don't take positions opposite to what I do because I, you know, when I'm ready, uh, I, I, I'm good at this. You don't want to fade that. You know, that, that uh, but, you know, hey, fade it if you like. I don't know. You, you'll probably make a lot of money. Anyway, I'm being a little too confident here. But anyway, when Adrian called me today and told me, he says, hey, you're really tired. You know, take a little break. And I'm not just physically. I'm physically tired. I'm okay. It's just I'm emotionally tired. I'm taking a new uh, herb medication that one of my friends recommended. And uh, my goodness, I slept six hours last night straight through, which for me is like uh, like 10 to 12 hours for anybody else. So uh, that, that part was, uh, you know, very, very good. When we come back from the break, I want to spend a few minutes talking about a chart that Zach Moore uh, from down in Savannah uh, sent us showing you what's happened here over the last 16 years in trading. And I'm going to put this chart up so we can take a look at it. And then we can discuss it when we uh, come back from the break. So we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. inflation where your purchasing power is eroded there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold vista gold's flagship asset is the mount todd gold project in the northern territory of australia this is australia's largest undeveloped gold project we are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district this is a large-scale low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de risk partner, ready development state gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the Opening Call newsletter at TFNN.com. The Opening Call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the Opening Call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education. Educating investors. Call, call, call now, toll free at one eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Internationally at seven two seven eight seven three seven six one eight. Okay, folks, I posted the chart here sent to us by Zach Moore. It's a Fed Federal Reserve chart, I believe, it shows the last sixteen years. Uh, you know, since the time that. Uh, Greenspan left, Geithner came in, and then Bernanke, Helicopter, Ben, and all the others since that time. Anyway, what we're looking at here is a tremendous amount of money being pumped into the markets. Now, this is related to debt and bonds, and we already know what's happening to the bond market. That market has, uh, I mean, it's <laughs> they've got the the, har the arm and sickle man is uh, with his hooded uh, sweatshirt is right behind it, and it's making it really interesting to uh, – see whether the market's going to back off or not. But if this is, in fact, this type of a top, and I do believe that it is, we're looking at something that is going to be, you know, absolutely incredible. Now, I, I have never heard of this next stock. It was on today with uh, Jim Cramer, and uh, it was something that uh, I don't know all about the recommendations and all the stuff that was there. But what you were watching, this is a, the chart of uh, Snowflake, and I don't know too much uh Okay, uh, is the chart showing now? Let's double check it if we could, please. Okay, uh, I don't know anything about it. Oh, I don't, I don't see pause. I don't know how to do that. I, I really don't. Let me try to bring it up again. I spend half my time with frustrations, folks. And of course, it's acting differently. I can tell you that because when I put it in, click this and go live. I don't know. Oh, now we see it. Okay, this is a stock of Snowflake. I don't know anything about it other than it was featured today on uh, uh, Jim Cramer, and evidently he knows the guy. Uh, I don't know. He's a very, very famous fellow and uh, that runs it or just came in to run it. But you can see we, we went from 450 down to uh, 100 and, uh, 150, so it dropped by two-thirds, Okay. Well, you can see the patterns that are there. The reason why I'm bringing you this up, because what we're going to see is the same type of pattern with Snowflake that we're going to see it in the S&P. We've already seen it in the NASDAQ, but you're going to see it big time in the NASDAQ, you know, down the road here a little bit. I don't know if it'll be now, but it's getting closer each day. Sometime 
by the summertime. Remember sell in May, go in May? Well, by sometime in July, August is what my original hope is that we'll have a nice little rally and set up a beautiful pattern like we've seen here. You'll notice that the first pattern that you see here was the ABCD at the 50% uh, level, perfect ABCD, and then I marked that with key time. Then you went over and you saw the second one, key time. Look how perfect they are, folks. They're actually equal. This is the, you know, the process of, you know, you got to realize that market repeats over and over again, and they repeat it usually the same way. That's right out of Andrew Lowe's book. And so that's what we're watching for. We're waiting for that to happen. Something like with, what's happening with Snowflake and, you know, all the others, Netflix, Metaverse, whatever they're going to be looking at. We want to be able to identify some of these patterns and to really, uh, you know, take advantage of it. Because I think we're going to see volatility keep increasing, much like we've seen uh, for a long time. Now, I've had a question to answer. We were talking to uh, Jeff uh, Hughes yesterday from Alpha Insights. And uh, he was talking about the people that lost money on that Tele Moon uh, ETF or uh, crypto that went from uh, uh, 2.5 million down to $2.35. And I interrupted him and I said, Yes, it happened to me too. And then we, I didn't want to take time away from Jeff. But what happened to me was what happened when Drexel went bankrupt in, in 1990. Because I left Drexel in 1982, and during those six and a half years that I was there, every month that I got a bonus, which was every month, and they, my bonuses were far, far more than my uh, uh, my salary, folks. My salary was, uh, you know, it was okay, but nothing like what my bonuses were each month based on performance. And so I put all of that money because I, I didn't need the money. I was I was making enough money to live really well, you know, living the dream. And so I put all of my money into the Drexel stock, and my stipulation was when I left that you had to wait 10 years before you could cash your, your stock out. And it was fine with me because it was going up every day. Uh, well, not every day, but most of the days. Well, in 88, of course, they ran into trouble with the SEC and Milken and insider trading and all the stuff. Ended up bringing the whole firm down with all 30,000 employees. Everybody went, and everybody went to zero. But when I got divorced... Uh, which was in 1986, right in the middle of that, I uh, was able to, we split the house. We had two houses. And we, I gave, gave her, we split the houses. She got the inside, I got the outside. And I got the Drexel stuff, and she got everything else, which was right down the middle. And it was a really, you know, not high seven figures, but mid seven figures. So I, I, I was bucks up. <laughs> two years later, I was bucks down. But uh, that that happened, you know. I mean, that's the second time. You know, that happened to me in 19, uh, 1974. And it happened to me again in 1989, uh, uh, I believe, or 90. And so uh, it's no big deal. I, I made it, you know, I, I never made it back to that level because I didn't want to make it back to that level. I wanted to make a really consistent living, trading, doing what I love to do. And by gosh, I've been doing that. And I'm going to continue doing it until the trading gods said, hey, you've had enough. So that's why I wanted to mention to you that was it. So I wanted to give you a rough idea of doing it. During this time that I'm going to be taking off, I will be doing the daily videos. John does the newsletter for me, and he does a fabulous job. Uh, he really does. And so we'll be – and anything really important come up, I'll certainly spend some time. But I'm going to be doing a little bit of traveling. Uh, one of our dear friends – has asked me to join them, and I'm not sure whether I'm going to do that or not. But uh, I'm basically just going to take some time off and uh, just check my emails each day and uh, do the videos, you know, showing trades that we're doing. Those are simple things to do. But the other preparation stuff, I've got to get ready, folks, because, you know, there are only so many uh, marbles in the jar, and uh, I think this is going to be the big one. And I've been waiting for – uh, a sign that tells me that's going to be it. And when the phone call from Adrian today saying, hey, Bubba, it's time to take a break. So uh, that's it. It's uh, neither here nor there. Well, anyway, we'll move on to uh, to the other uh, to the other things that I wanted to cover here in just a second. Uh, it's very, very important today on the uh, technical for, uh, format here. Let me double check a couple of quick things here. Ah, well, the uh, the natural gas is working a little bit. It's really, really super important, folks, that the S&P not go below the low today, which was 41.28. The the 3.82 retracement of that whole move yesterday was 
Go go look at that. Look at look at the the the, the, the Dow Jones made fifty percent. The Russell made thirty eight. And the S and P made thirty eight percent. I don't know what the Nasdaq did. Probably it did pretty much the same thing. So that's that's neither here nor there. So it's important that it doesn't go below forty one thirty. Before below forty one thirty tells you that there's something wrong with the program. In other words, they got a really good chance of breaking this thing out to the upside, folks. And there's a lot of negative news to think it's not going to do that. But that's neither. You know, you've got to be able to get in there and. Uh, Get in, get in there and be able to do it the best you can. So that's uh, what uh, what we're looking at right now here as far as watching these things. If you did sell that NASDAQ, uh, natural gas uh, up there at 96, uh, don't let it or just put a $5 stop above your point and you got it, you got it made. A very low risk if it's right. Hey, we're going to be right back with none other than Tim Boss Financial Cycles Weekly. Can't miss 877-927-6648. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. Tom O'Brien has just announced a live Timing the Trade webinar Friday, June 10th from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Join Tom O'Brien for five hours of live education as he teaches you his trading methodology right from his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. In this live webinar, Tom O'Brien will be teaching you his entire trading system, including quality volume, ABC structures, Fibonacci confluence zones, cause and effect, swing points, and more. We will be limiting this class to 40 attendees, so please do not delay and reserve your seat today for this special live event with Tom O'Brien. All attendees will also receive a physical copy of his book, The Art of Timing the Trade, an $88 value, mailed to you, along with a free month of his daily newsletter, Market Insights, a $169 value. For all the details and to reserve your seat today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have one of our favorite people on the line down in Bradenton, Florida, Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly. Tim, are you there? I am indeed. Good to hear your voice, sir. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, living the dream, baby, on the green side of the grass. <laughs> we, have we, have make question, <laughs> we have a question for one of our listeners, and the fact is you gave a S and p recommendation the last time you were here that made 5% in two days. They wanted to thank you for that. And, of course, just like the restaurant business, he wants to know what trades did you have for us today. <laughs> so oh, well, why don't you we'll go ahead and start, my We'll just jump right friend. into those here in a moment or two. <laughs> go right ahead. 
Yeah, what we're looking at uh, this week is uh, an, uh, based on an astrological event that's coming up here on uh, Saturday, uh, uh, the uh, the 11th of, of uh, June. We've got a, a Venus uh, conjunction with a Uranus, and this is something that happens about once a year. Mm -hmm. I put up here a list of uh, dates from previous years and, and next couple of years here uh, be, because uh, – Uranus moves very, very slowly. It has an orbit of about uh, that takes about 84 years to go uh, once around the sun. Venus moves much more rapidly, of course, and so we we get these uh, uh, opportunities when the two planets come together like this to combine their energies. And it's interesting because traditionally uh, Venus is associated with uh, everything that's uh, good, true, and beautiful. You know, uh, love, uh, money, and art, and things of that sort. Uh, Uranus is all about surprises and explosions and disruptions and things that go boom. <laughs> and so uh, when we when we put the two of them together, it's a very interesting combination because uh, we get the Uranian effect of a surprise and a potential shift in market dynamics. Uh, but with Venus along for the ride, what it typically means is things work out pretty well. And so these are pleasant surprises rather than unpleasant ones by and large. And so that's why we like to track this uh, configuration. Uh, and you know, we've done a lot of, of uh, study with this and uh, over the years and I find it a pretty interesting thing to, to take a look at. Uh, so what's happening right now, again, this is coming up on uh, Saturday, uh, the 11th of, of uh, June. Uh, and it will be taking place uh, shortly before 7 p.m. Eastern Time, New York Time, uh, with that exact alignment. So this is not during trading hours, uh, per se. Uh, but we always like to look at these alignments on our charts to see what else is getting triggered. And in this yeah. case, we're getting a Sun-Mars midpoint and a Sun-Kronos uh, midpoint. Um, uh, Sun Mars is about directed activity, expressions of masculine energy, uh, the use of military force, uh, getting things done, I guess, is, is the, the impetus with uh, uh, the, the Sun Mars dynamic. And then uh, Sun Kronos implies a leadership role. Uh, and we're talking here about whoever's in charge, the boss, the, the head man, the big honcho, uh, and acting independently, and uh, sometimes it, it's expressed through the power of the state if we're talking about a national uh, leader. Uh, but this can also apply to the market environment. And so we're looking at things that are superior, above average, so to speak. And so it's not uncommon when we see this configuration to see it uh, associated with uh, rising markets and, and a little bit of uh, bullishness. So overall, this looks very, very positive, uh, this kind of reinforcement for this notion of uh, Uranus and Venus coming together with the potential for pleasant surprises. Uh, this says that we could get some action behind that as well uh, in, in, in the market uh, dynamics. So that's kind of our setup here for this week. Now, uh, as uh, is our uh, habit here, what we'd like to do is do some back testing. And this is the pattern with the S&P 500. <clears throat> and um, what we do in this uh, example here is, is look at all the previous times from the history of the trading that we've got uh, with the S&P. We uh, pick out all those dates when we had the Venus-Uranus conjunctions before. We see what the market has done in the past, and then we average it all together and create this kind of diagram. Uh, which uh, reminds us of our standard disclaimer, past performance doesn't guarantee future results, but this is what the past performance actually looks like in the aggregate. So what typically happens here is about uh, oh, three weeks prior to uh, the Venus-Uranus conjunction, we get a move upward in the S&P, and it goes into a period of congestion then uh, for about five weeks, uh, three weeks before, about two weeks afterwards, uh, and it's a fairly tight uh, trading range, and then it can kicks in to a move to the upside and begins to uh, establish a new trading level. That's what's characteristic over the long term. Uh, so in looking at this, what we try to do then is, is pick out the optimum trade uh, for this time around uh, in terms of giving us the, the highest probability of a winning trade. Uh, and also the, the best ROI uh, on that. And so this is what we've come up with with this particular configuration. And again, uh, the uh, conjunction itself is happening here uh, on, uh, on Saturday. 
uh, but we, we sometimes will see uh, moving in uh, 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 you know, a day or two afterwards or before as, as the optimum time for getting into a trade. In this case, with the S&P, uh, we believe it will be to our advantage to hold off until Monday, the 13th of June. Uh, and we're going to hold this uh, position until nearly the end of the month there on the 29th of June, which is a Wednesday, uh, to sell out that position. Based on our studies with our back testing here, uh, this has almost a 72 percent probability of being a, a winning trade, 71.8 percent likelihood of it coming out in our favor. Uh, so we like those odds. That's pretty attractive at that level. Uh, the ROI, uh, the expectation ba uh, based on the historic performance here, is uh, a little a little over three quarters of one percent, 0.78 percent uh, expected return on this. Uh, now we uh, are noting here as well that right now we're in extremely volatile market conditions, so would not be surprised to see a bigger swing uh, than this uh, amount of return. Uh, although, you know, again, we can't guarantee that. We're just uh, the environment looks like that at this particular point. Uh, and uh, again, we, we, we gauge this in terms of the probability. Uh, so, you know, we can't guarantee the returns, but we can at least figure out what the risk is. And that's why we do these ca uh, kinds of calculations uh, to allow, uh, allow traders to make their own uh, judgments uh, with these. Uh, Tim, I have a question. Uh, could you check on May the 5th? Didn't we have a Venus-Uranus uh, aspect, a major one on Venus-Uranus uh, on May the 5th of this year? I think it may have been a square. Venus moves pretty rapidly here. So yeah, yeah. we get a, a number of alignments there to, during the course of the, the year. And so what I've been focusing on is just these conjunctions because that's the yeah. uh, the big daddy of them all, <laughs> so to speak. That's, a, know, that's, that's when you're – that's a start. That's a zero degree, Correct. Exactly. Zero degrees and opposition, of separation. Opposition would be 180. Yeah, 180, right. The squares are 90 okay. degrees apart. We look primarily uh, at, at those. Uh, sometimes we also pick up the eighth harmonic, which includes the 45-degree angle and the 135-degree angle, as well as all those others. Uh, so you know, it depends on how... Uh, close we want to get with our studies there. But every time we get any kind of alignment between uh, Venus and Uranus, it's worth taking a look at. Uh, it sure is, yeah. It yeah. sure and is. And you've done some extensive studies yourself. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's the Fibonacci. You know, Venus goes around the Earth uh, 256 out of 365 days. That's 0.618 of the year. So that's what Dr. There Miller you said. <laughs> you know, you've got to be able to uh, start with Fibonacci. And I work backwards the other way. But uh, uh, Shane Smolian's also pointed out some of these things to me as far as uh, the importance of timing so we're going to be yeah, watching absolutely. that one. yeah it's but, definitely a combination to, ta uh, to uh, yeah. take a look at so let's look oh. at another market this is gold uh, and okay. we did the same thing with our back testing with the uh, Venus Uranus conjunctions in this case we also have that period of congestion but it's not it's a little bit tighter there and about uh, two weeks after uh, the date of the conjunction uh, that zero point uh, in, in the middle of the chart by the way indicates the, the conjunction date uh, which will be okay. this Saturday and we'll take a break and we'll be right back with Tim Boss Financial Cycles Week. Stand with stay with us, Tim. Sure. Will. Okay, we'll be Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
Paperwhite's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, speaking with Tim Buss, Financial Cycles Weekly. Tim, could we go over the gold venus Uranus conjunction trade that you're looking at? Absolutely. This is our trading chart based on the, uh, the aggregate uh, of past uh, performance here. And what we've looked at uh, here is an optimum trade that looks like this. In this case, we're looking at actually entering the position uh, later today. We tend to enter our uh, uh, positions toward the, the close uh, most trading days. Uh, and uh, But buying it uh, today on the 8th of June, holding till Thursday uh, the 30th, uh, this has about a 66.7% or two-thirds probability of being a winning trade uh, with an average expected return there of 1.93%. Uh, so this definitely reinforces our generally bullish expectations for gold. Uh, however, you know, we've seen a lot of congestion in, in that uh, market of late. Uh, and this is a longer term position. We look at these swing trades. Sometimes it's a matter of just a couple of days. In this case, uh, several weeks uh, uh, exposure in, in that uh, position. We also have taken a look at uh, the uh, wheat. And uh, I, I have to confess, oh. I don't have any experience personally in trading uh, agriculturals. Uh, and uh, But that's an important market, especially considering some of the uh, current pressures on the fundamentals here with the uh, war in Ukraine and uh, 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 supply chain problems and, and what have you. Uh, so that's what got me curious about it. In this case, we're using uh, the uh, you know, chart for the ETF, uh, uh, the uh, Tukarium uh, Wheat Fund, which trades under the symbol WEAT, uh, and checking it there. And in this case, it's in, an interesting pattern because, again, that zero point is the point of the Venus-Uranus uh, uh, conjunctions. And uh, uh, when that hits, it's a very, very definitive uh, de turning point uh, in the process prospects uh, for the, the wheat market. Uh, and so uh, it's, it's always cool to see those very, very powerful uh, kinds of correlations like that when they, they do pop up. So this is a pretty definitive one. In this case, of course, we're looking at trading the ETF, uh, waiting till Monday again to uh, buy some shares uh, there and selling on Friday the 24th of June. Uh, that has a 70% probability of being a winning trade with an expected uh, ROI or the average uh, ROI in the past uh, being uh, 3.11%, a little over 3% percent return there. Uh, so again, that looks uh, fairly attractive uh, to us uh, from that perspective. Uh, again, based on my 
practically total ignorance of the agricultural markets, uh, but this is something curious to, to take a look at. We can at least do the back testing there as well. And then we want to spend a little bit of time looking at Bitcoin as well today, because uh, this is certainly uh, something that uh, continues to fascinate us. And we've seen a big, big uh, pullback in the cryptocurrency space overall. <clears throat> certainly Bitcoin has been down and uh, a lot of the other entities have, have fallen uh, with it. Uh, and uh, you know, my take in general on the cryptocurrency space right now is that we could, in fact, see the bottom fall out of a number of these uh, uh, you know, uh, less capitalized and, and uh, scantier uh, <laughs> covered uh, 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 cryptos uh, in, in, in this space over the next few months. Uh, so it's, it continues to be a very, very uh, treacherous area to look at. However... I personally make an exception with Bitcoin because it's been around longer than the others, and we've got some trading history to look at here. And uh, my personal belief is that it, is, uh, it has enough of a solid foundation and has reached the maturity as as a market uh, that it's worth our, our attention here. Uh, so in the past, we've looked at these uh, Venus Kronos uh, planetary price lines as defining uh, the support and resistance uh, zones uh, for uh, uh, Bitcoin. And uh, as it was uh, you know, backing off from its high, uh, uh, its big extreme back in November, uh, you know, we were noting that uh, our ultimate level of support we calculated was at uh, 28,210. And uh, here you can see that that has actually been uh, a challenge and has served as a support zone uh, pretty e effectively uh, you know, over, over the, uh, the last uh, couple of months here as it has gone through this uh, uh, major, major pullback. Uh, and so we're, we're delighted to see that support holding there. Uh, currently, uh, earlier today, I was trading at about uh, 30,450 uh, range. Uh, and what we're looking at right now as we look at our trading chart with Bitcoin uh, is that we're seeing uh, it uh, bouncing off that uh, support zone at 28 to 210, which is a, a chronos. Uh, price line and it's moving up into the zone of this Venus uh, trend line uh, so it, it uh, sometimes ignores the Venus lines uh, but sometimes they can provide uh, a good level of of, uh, of of extra energy for for the price action here and so we circle this next uh, Kronos line at 37,210 uh, this is a potential price target uh, you know, we have, I think, the, the possibility at least of it hitting that as early as the 22nd of June. Uh, now, uh, that could be kind of a trial run there, and uh, I'm not expecting it to penetrate that, uh, but uh, we'll, we'll see if it tests that uh, as resistance or, or not. If it does, that's going to be very significant as a potentially bullish indicator. Okay, I have a question for one of our listeners, and is there anything... In the astrological charts of these uh, cryptos or tokens, that gives a clue that maybe they have a better chance of being successful versus one or the other. Do you ever look at the birth charts of these? I do indeed. And in fact, I was having a discussion with one of my students uh, yesterday, and we were looking at at Bitcoin uh, specifically. Uh, you know, we published our book uh, a couple of years ago called Bitcoin Astrology. It's available on Amazon. And in that, we publish a lot of charts relative to uh, Bitcoin and a lot of them associated with historic events in the development of the crypto space. Uh, but one of the things that we look at is what we call the Genesis block. Uh, there are, are two uh, charts that we look at with regard to Bitcoin. First was the uh, proposal in early November of 2008 uh, by Satoshi Nakamoto in which the proposed the concept of uh, Bitcoin and it didn't take long for that to be implemented and the the first block on the blockchain uh, occurred on uh, January the 2nd in 2009 uh, and what's interesting here is that as we look at these charts uh, we can't uh, locate them in uh, a place, which is traditionally what astrology does. And so we know that Satoshi Nakamoto posted his uh, uh, proposal uh, from a computer that was in Singapore at the time. There was a server in Singapore, uh, so we, we can locate that one there. Uh, the two most popular charts uh, for the, the, uh, 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 the, the first block or the Genesis block in the blockchain uh, were, are for uh, Sydney, Australia and for Tokyo. 
Uh, and in our book, we decided to also uh, do that chart for uh, Greenwich, uh, uh, England, and, and the prime meridian there uh, is kind of a universal approach. What happens with that is that the part of fortune, which is a movable point in the chart, uh, is at 17 degrees of Taurus. So for Bitcoin, then this uh, uh, Venus-Uranus conjunction that we just mentioned uh, at uh, the uh, uh, the uh, uh, 16 degrees 52 minutes mark of Taurus is hitting right on top of that uh, significant point in that particular chart for Bitcoin. We believe it provides some reinforcement uh, for us. And in fact, we did wow. uh, look at our back testing with that as, as well here uh, with Bitcoin. And as you can see, congestion and a big spike upward about 10, 12 days after uh, the event. Based on wow. this, we, we've got a, a trading strategy uh, a, a, as, as well here. Tim, will you stay with us for just a second, please? Absolutely. We'll be right back, folks. Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Okay, folks, we're back with Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly. And, Tim, you usually have some wonderful informational webinars. You any of anything coming we up soon? We do, indeed. Indeed, indeed. Uh, we're doing a webinar tomorrow, in fact, and we'll be talking about uh, how you can grab the top three money astrology secrets uh, for easy stock market uh, success. Uh, in order to connect with that, uh, uh, can, uh, go to this link. We've got uh, bit.ly slash Tim Larry P. 
Uh, and that's all lowercase except for the okay. initials there. Uh, T for Tim, L for Larry, P for Pesamento. Uh, Bit.ly uh, slash Tim Larry P. Uh, we'll let you sign up uh, for our list uh, for all of our webinar notifications. Uh, and uh, as I say, we're planning to uh, offer this one uh, tomorrow after the closing. Uh, and so uh, go ahead and connect with us uh, today, and we'll make sure you get on that notification list uh, so that you can sign up for that uh, free webinar. Uh, so we, we spend a little bit of time talking about current market conditions, astrological trading strategies, and then what we've got coming up next with some of the new uh, training tools and uh, projects yeah. that we are having in development right now. Do you still offer the WD GAN course, Tim? I do. In fact, we have uh, two levels of the course, uh, uh, GAN Plan Trading Success 101 and uh, 102. And we came out with the uh, 102 uh, version three or four months ago uh, and have had some great responses uh, to that as well. Uh, if you have an interest of that, uh, uh, go ahead and, and – uh, uh, contact me. My personal email is tim at timbost.com, and i uh, be glad to uh, send you information on that if you're interested in the GAN materials. We uh, have had a number of students work with us in that area. Continue to explore the infinite riches in WD GAN's material. Yeah, Lots to get puzzled you. with there along the way. Yeah. It's great stuff. A lot of, lot of material for sure. Listen, thanks for joining us today, buddy. We appreciate it. Stay on the My green pleasure. side of the grass, live in the dream, buddy. All right, my pleasure. We'll talk with you, you soon. Bet. Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly, folks. A stand-up guy. We'll see you tomorrow, folks. Live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. <laughs>